when I was growing up, my father used to say, it's just certain things you don't do as a woman. And I ain't even gonna lie to y'all, I used to get so irritated, like, why are you telling me this? I'm like, he says, number one, if respect isn't being served, you leave. I used to say, just like that, you, he said, oh yeah, just like that, you teach people how to treat you. Number two, he said, you never go out to eat with a man and not have that bill times two. I said, so what you mean? He says, the amount it takes to feed two people, you and him at that table, you don't go out to eat with that man unless you have that times two. I said, okay, clock it. Never thought I would need that one. I was 25 years old, called myself dating a man, and as we sat down at the dinner table, we had a heated discussion. He asked me that I think I was all of that because I had money, had my own car, had things going on for myself. And I said, no, I don't think I'm all of that, but I do have the things that I have for myself. What type of question are you asking me? He says, oh yeah, well, how would you feel if I got up and left you at this table right now? You have to pay your own bill, you get it. You get I said, I sure do, I got that times too. Now what you gonna do about it? I said, I got my own car out there, so I'ma leave this restaurant and it's gonna be what it's gonna be. Long story short, you better stay ready so you ain't gotta get ready. That's what my father was trying to prepare me for. You don't know how people be thinking when they get you in a certain predicament, in a certain situation, just to see you on your toes. Number three, my dad told me, you can put all the makeup in the world on, you can put your best fit on, you can put everything together well. But if you ain't got nothing up here, you ain't got nothing to your name. As he would say, women got cat, what else you got? And I went home that day to my mama's house crying. I was mad. I was upset. I felt like my own dad was telling me I wasn't pretty. Because at that time, I was popping my stuff. I ain't had no money for real. But I was popping my little stuff. I had my hair done. and my You know. Until I got older and realized that an empty place without no furniture ain't no home. So a beautiful girl without any substance, any intelligence, anything that's worth anything is not a woman. And furthermore, he was trying to protect me for the people who would only see a pretty face. And not know what else I had behind it. And some days I didn't want to go back to his house because I felt like he was just saying things to hurt my feelings. To this day, the man could make me cry if he wanted to. He prepared me for everything that I went through and everything that I'm still going through today. Can't nobody come harder than he did. But that man made me mentally equipped for a lifetime. He Ladies, we living in a day and time where people think your femininity and your womanhood is a joke. People are depending on your stupidity, depending on your vulnerability, depending on you to fall short so they can pick up where you fall short on and play a game with you. Especially my women who are independent. See, some men, some men are taking that as a hit or a threat to their manhood, to their masculinity. And the lifts that they would go to to make you feel like you're small, to get their power back, is so dangerous.